Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of relating fractions and decimals. This is standard 4.2G in the great state of Texas and we are using item number one off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have Estelle, and Estelle shaded the model below to represent the height of a building that is right there, 4.8 meters tall. So we need to find a fraction that represents this decimal. And so that's one of the key things that we learn in fourth grade is how fractions and decimals can both represent the same quantity. So let's take a look at our model right here. We've got these five little rods and four of them are completely shaded in and one of them is almost shaded in. And so let's just see what we've got here. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So this first rod has got ten out of ten rods shaded in. And we could say the same thing uh, for the next one. We could say the same thing for the next one. Same thing for the next one. We're pretty good with fractions, but this last one doesn't quite have all. It's missing two, so that means it's got eight tenths. Now, let's look at this another way. If we've got 10 out of 10 shaded in, anytime your numerator and your denominator are exactly the same, that means you've got one whole. So this is one whole. This is also one whole. This is also one whole. And this is also one whole. So you've got four of these that are exactly the same. They are all shaded in. So really what you can do here is you can take all four of these and you can clump them together. You can say I've got one, two, three, four. And then you've also got this last one that's not quite complete. And you can add that to it and you can say, you know what, I've got four and then I've got eight tenths left over. Now let's see how this relates with our fraction to our decimal because they gave us this decimal right there of 4.8. So this place right here is our ones place. And so we don't necessarily say four ones. When we're saying this out loud, we just say the digit four. Whenever we see this decimal, we're going to say and, because the word and just lets us know we're switching from whole numbers to decimals. Here's the key right here. This is eight tenths. So four and eight, and then you say the name of the place value location, and that is the tenths. So this is four and eight tenths. This is four and eight tenths. So that's What's so interesting is you can say this right here, four and eight tenths, and you can say the exact same thing, four and eight tenths. Now, every fraction does not have an equal um, decimal that relates to it. It really works if you have a decimal or a fraction that has a denominator of 10 or 100 or 1,000. If it's a different denominator, it's going to look slightly different, but these two are exactly the same, eight tenths eight-tenths. So let's take a look. Obviously we see our answer right here as A, but let's see what this would look like. Well, 48 fiftieths. Well, I just told you here that this wouldn't work because we don't have a denominator of 10, 100, or 1,000 because those are our first three spots, tenths, hundreds, thousands. You could do something with this here. You would have to multiply top and bottom by two to make it into a denominator of 100. And so you could get 96. So this is really worth 96 hundredths, which is not what we need up there, 4 and 8 tenths. Now, C is a little bit closer. We've got 4 and, but you notice this is 8 hundredths rather than 8 tenths. So here's my hundredths spot right there. My hundredths goes right there. And so you'd have to put the 8 there. So you've got a blank in the tenths spot, you'd have to put a zero. So this is four and eight hundredths, and this one right here is simply 4,800. So it's close, but my answer is A.